Blueprints versus C++. So let's talk about that conflict between the two. Um, Blueprints is a visual scripting language. You see that inside, if you are already familiar with the engine and you have used that before, you, you see the all these rectangle shapes. All of these rectangle shapes are blueprints, okay? They call blueprints and it's inside the editor where C++ is, as you see, uh, it's a programming language. It's a scripting programming language. It's like Java or C, uh, or C Sharp. It's a C++. So it's a text based programming language. Unlike C Sharp or Java, uh, this language is like C. C and C++. It's a compiled language from top to bottom, from top to bottom. That's why you need uh, a header file for your CPP. So before you go to the CPP, you need a header file to de to forward declare all your functions and pointers and variables. So because C++ it's a compiled language from top to bottom. So that's why you need to forward declare this in the header file. So you, after that, you include that in your CPP, that header file. So this is the reason why you need a header file. It's unlike uh, C Sharp or, or Java, you can call any um, function from anywhere inside your your main file. Uh, C++, it's not like that. It's, you need to declare forward declare that. So it's a, it's a different. And plus C++, you can manage your mem memory, unlike Java or C Sharp. So basically, it's, it's a programming language. It's all these text. You put these text and use this arrow operator as it's indicate for this as a pointer, where dot is more like a class inside C Sharp, as you, if you used before C Sharp for Unity. So let's go back and see blueprints. So blueprints, it's, all these rectangle shapes. So the nice thing about blueprints, it's easy to prototype. It's fast and and you won't get any crashes. So for example, you go to, the, for example, this play and a montage. This is a node predefined. It's targeting, if I hover on that, it's, it's targeting the, char the character itself. And I play any and a montage from that and it will be fine. If if I didn't hook anything inside this, won't get me any error or crash. Maybe get you will get some error if you don't put, put anything inside this drop-down list. In C++, you will get a crash because this represents a pointer inside C++. Everything, sorry, everything inside this will represent a pointer is a new and a montage if i go for example let me show you for example a spawn and emitter at location this one is also considered a class so if i don't don't put anything you won't get any crash inside a blueprint you won't get any crashes because you get a warning messages and maybe at compile time or at runtime so the engine won't crash for you because he gave you these warning messages after you compile or at runtime you give you these warning messages but in C++ the case is not is not like that it, you need to check always always to check for for pointer so uh, in blueprint it's not that uh, blueprint is easy to learn in fact it's more simple to learn if you jump into the engine it's very fast to learn. It, you, Epic has provided a very, very big topics on on how to get started on a Blueprint. It's very, very fast to learn. You have all the resources. Plus, you have many, many tutorials on YouTube, on Udemy itself, and it's easy to learn. And for prototyping, forget about prototyping in C++. It's a nightmare. All these, oh my God, it's a nightmare. Don't prototype in C++. The prototype is super fast in Blueprint. After you prototype in Blueprint, jump and convert that Blueprint prototype. As you, when you when you see it succeed, prototype that Blueprint immediately to C++ and you will be get fine. And this is all about the Blueprints. It's a high level 
high level game system it's it's more like you can it's more artistic friendly you can any any artist can do and make some logic any beginner can come to to this blueprint come to the engine and play with this blueprint and make a complete game complete interactive experience with the engine without knowing any single line of code as a performance hit, uh, yes, C++ will be always, always high performance hit. So it, it will be your performance guy. It will be your performance, uh, high perform, high performance uh, uh, codes. Uh, unlike, unlike Blueprint, it's it's a slower. It it needs an intermediate language. Uh, it will compile then to the machine code. Unlike C++, it will compile to the machine code directly. So it has this blueprint has an extra extra layer to compile then to, uh, it, it will compile to the machine code so it's more slower than c++ and there is limitation in in, in, in blueprint so you can't extend the engine code you can't you can go create a complex complex game systems inside blueprint you, not all the classes are exposed to you as a blueprint where C++ you have the false source engine, you can customize your rendering engine, you can customize the physics, you can create a complex game system and so on and so forth. Even you can do many, many stuff inside C++. Unlike Blueprint, uh, you are limited to these classes that you have been exposed to. So there is a limitation when you say, when you working on, ga on gameplay. So. As a prototype, I told you it's faster in Blueprint. Forget about anything prototyping in C++. Forget that. Even, even if you are a professional programmer in C++ or C Sharp and you go and open the Unreal Engine and start, okay, let me go. I am a super professional game programmer. Let me go fast into the C++. No, it's not like that. Just, just make a prototype inside this like this for example i prototype all that and make a complete playable game and after i succeed and i love my idea okay let's let me convert that to c plus plus so it's hard to prototype in c plus plus c plus plus and it's faster so uh plus we it's this one is a slower and c plus plus is faster uh, c plus plus can you can modify the source engine as i told you you can create complex tools and systems where blueprint sorry you don't have that options and for easy to learn if you are a programmer if you are a c sharp programmer or c plus programmer of or python programmer reading this code is easy unlock as long as you know the api engine api it's easy to to, to read that it's easy if we go to for example to the header files i didn't comment any of this because i was doing that so fast because but i can comment that all the functions and i go for example for the cpp and read my line of codes and it's easy to learn because as a programmer i can read my my code as long as uh, i know the engine api for blueprints it's Mm, kind of easy it's kind of ish easy to, to to read so you need to follow some guidelines for example i always comment these boxes so later on when i convert that probably the command will be a function call because all these nodes can be a function call inside c plus plus so i always comment that and i try as much I can to avoid delays because delays where are you there you are because delays you don't have any delay this this function you won't have any delay inside C++ you will use timer manager for that in C++ so I try to avoid this inside C++ also I try to avoid like do once and for example gate I try to avoid this, for example, also flip, flop, flip, where are you, flip, flop, I'm pretty sure that you, we have one, flip, flop, there you are, flip, flop, so I try also the delay, 
I also try to avoid these okay because there is around to to do this for example if you do this do once it will fire this once and turn that off in c plus plus you don't have that so you need to make a bool variable do this once and disable that bool variable i will show you and the gate also and the flip-flop thing is also like doing a bool variable negating if i have a bool variable for example setting this on a true or false okay and execute and delay as i told you it's use the timer manager so if i can avoid that mm, will be fine if it will be fine okay but if you need a, a delay it's a timer manager inside C, c++ so the reading of your code inside blueprint it will be you need to follow best practices to make a nice readable blueprint so we need to comment that blueprints very nice and don't make too too many graphs i had i hate to make you can make many graphs for example i can nested many graphs and nested many function inside functions so you need if you if you are attempt to convert that later on to c plus plus don't do that just throw everything inside the graph you, you can make a custom event for example a custom event and this will be a function call inside c plus plus okay so it it is that your intent to make all this logic into c plus plus so throw everything in the graph and later on it will be easy to understand when you convert that to c plus plus so reading is depends on your complex of the logic so plus if you know so some uml language uh, a unified modeling language so you need to update your team about what are you doing so you need to tell him about this function for example this function do this function and so on and so forth and heavily comment that okay so best get best guidelines is always to comment and uh, minimize your function calls use for example in custom events and avoid try to avoid these if you are a c++ guy try to avoid these if you're a blueprint guy okay it will f be fine for you okay um as a job as a job if you search for a job on, on online you probably won't find any job as a gameplay programmer for if you are just a blueprint guy it will not be that case you need c++ when you search for a job they're always always seeking for experience c++ plus blueprint so you won't find any job okay uh, easy to learn from blueprint is so easy blueprint is so easy to learn and getting that so fast to to learn where c++ you get some time plus this c++ for unreal it's more like a c++ plus plus it's more easy than the normal c++ so even that you won't get any difficulty when you're learning c++ inside unreal engine but for for first time blueprint will be easy to learn and the nice thing about blueprint also if you 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 can learn about the engine api so if you hover on that and say simple move to location it's target the target is going to that specific class or header file which is a blueprint helper library which is targeting ua uai blueprint helper library inside c++ if i go for example me I say find lookout rotation. Yes, I have find lookout rotation. The target is Kismet Math Library. So inside the engine, it's calling you Kismet Math Library. So if you forget about something about the engine API, you can just type the, type that node and hover on that, and you will get that engine API. I know that. So this is about Unreal Engine versus C++. Basically, for me, I use the, the blueprint for, for prototyping i always use the engine prototyping inside uh, with blueprints and after i succeed i convert that blueprint immediately to c++ this is my workflow for your for your workflow if you are 
Unreal, just using the blueprint, it will be fine. You can follow this course and and just learn about the blueprints and skip the conversion part about uh, C++ and you will be fine and happy and you can successfully complete this course. So I give you an extra chapter how to convert that and what are the best practices and my guidelines and what are the coding style that I am using uh, when I uh, do this inside C++. So this is about that and and also you can integrate between the two. It's the integration is so easy, so easy. If I, this is, for example, let me go character. You can integrate between the two. You can call a function call from the blueprint itself from the C++ side. Also, you can expose functions. For example, you can expose a function call. Let me make you function. Come on, you function and call this blueprint. You have these uh, from the you function macro. You can say implemental event, okay, and call this void. For example, do just make do and just make it anything, okay. So, so this will be a function call. The, as you as long as you say blueprint implemental event you don't need any uh, declaration uh, uh, sorry you don't need any initialization inside the cpp it just will be a forward declare and you can call this inside the blueprint you don't need it. if but if the case is say it's not that it's a blueprint native event where are you native event so you have the option now to do both you can make a declaration declaration inside the cpp and the implementation you can use that in both the, the underscore implementation will be in the cpp and you can also call that implementation inside the blueprint so you can you have the you the they are both integrated and that they are easy to make an integration between blueprints and c++ so they are very fast and the recommendation by epic guys you always always use both always use both you can avoid one each you can avoid blueprints and go with c++ you can avoid c++ with the blueprint so after even if you create these c++ classes you will you will be finally create a blueprint from these classes so uh, this is about unreal versus c++ for me i'm using both for you if you are a blueprint guy okay stick with the blueprint and try if you are serious about this uh, as a gameplay programmer in the future you need to learn c++ it's not that hard to learn because you will, there's a big chance you will be finding a job in the game industry so this is about that so see you in the next video if you have fun with this tutorial, I have made a Udemy course on how to make a turn-based puzzle game with Unreal Engine using Blueprints and C++. The link in the description below.